This week, unofficially rugged with RD. Well, if you like catching fish, actually make that lots of fish, then you'll just love Wada Lake Lodge in the Northwest Territories. And that's exactly where RD is this time around. We're talking Arctic grayling, lake trout, big northern pike, and maybe even a few whitefish thrown in for good measure. And uh, I think RD would look kind of cute wearing some of Colleen's lip gloss, don't you? <laughs> Get him! Okay, so if you've seen my show before, you know that I just love going to the Northwest Territories. The fishing is always wickedly rugged, and if you like pristine wilderness, where you have the whole lake to yourself, well, just check it out. This stretch of the Bulio River is home to some of the best fishing anywhere. And it's been a couple of years since my last, you know, uh, as we call it, Arctic grilling on a fly rod deal. So after a quick walk through the bush, we came to some of the most amazing fly fishing water I had ever seen. And the grayling were in the mood for slurping some dry flies, some of which, by the way, were tied by my rugged buddy, Norm Kunkel, from North Bay, Ontario. Hey, thanks a lot, Norm. The Northwest Territories is likely your very best bet for not only catching lots of lake trout, but big ones too, and every year, fish in the 50 pound plus range are hauled in. Now don't try to tell me that's not rugged. If you like chasing big gators, well, uh, just just go ahead and roll the tape there, camera dude Steve. What a lake lodge, look at that. That's, a, that's 15 pounds of pike, I think. I think so, yeah. Yeah, Fifth honestly. the last one. It's rugged. So if big pike, lake trout, and arctic grayling aren't enough to satisfy your ruggedivity cravings, well, you can go after some whitefish, too. And if you book a trip here to Wata Lake Lodge, you could be fishing right here below this very waterfall. Okay, Trev, we don't need to tell the audience, you know, the reason we're laughing right now, because <laughs> we, we won't get into that. The things that happen when the camera is turned off. Now, what river are we at? Where is this now? This is the Boleo River. The Boleo? Am I saying it right? Yep, Boleo. Okay. Now, we have yeah. Arctic grayling in here. Yeah. And possibility of some pike, pike Northern as well. Pike. And we're gonna take a little uh, little trip through the bush here. Yep. And if we see a bear, which one of us is gonna run faster than the other? I'll be pushing you and running. Okay. Well, I'll be ready to give him a kung fu chop in the Excellent. skull. <laughs> I'll lay this smack work. down, Teddy. Yeah. So we'll just make lots of noise when we hike through, and yep. we'll be we'll be okay. Okay. I was making lots of noise a minute ago, but uh, <laughs> and that's what we were laughing. That's about. what we were laughing about. <laughs> okay. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. There he goes, right there, got him. I was just gonna say, that's where he was the first time and there he is. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh yeah. Nice grayling, that's one of the biggest ones I've ever caught in a fly rod, I think. Wow. Trev, this is rugged. Oh, that's a nice grayling. I'll walk him into the shallows a bit here. Oh, what a beautiful grayling. Come on out here, brother. This is Excellent. this is unbelievable. Look at right. the big fin on that fish. Isn't that too much? Yeah, that's beautiful. I, you know what? The Northwest Territories is, is as rugged as it gets. I don't care what anyone says. This is the place to be. This is unreal. Look at the size oh, of that grayling. Oh, he is grayling. chunky. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's definitely the biggest one I've caught in a fly rod. And I've caught hundreds of these fish before, but never one that big in a fly rod. Okay, I think I can do the old scoop o rama He's got that fly down deep. I hope we can get that out without... Oh my God, look at the size of that. that. That is unreal. That, that's beautiful. That is, isn't that too much? Unreal. Oh, holy. Right there, brother. Clear there. Yeah, good one. Oh, 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 oh. Look at that dorsal fin. Isn't that just something? Absolutely. And you know what? Yeah, they're great beautiful. fighting fish. Beautiful and they're great fighting fish. And this is the biggest Arctic grilling I've ever caught in a fly rod. I've caught thousands of, well, hundreds. <laughs> yeah, right. Hundreds of these things before, but not this big on a fly rod. I want to get that out of there. There we go. Look at he just opened up Beautiful. Oh, they look nice in the water. Oh, beautiful. There he goes. I can feel him tensing up. I can feel that tail going again. Excellent. Oh, there we go. Isn't on. that amazing? He'll probably hang out in the shallow water for a few minutes and uh, recuperate. Get his bearings. Excellent. Look at that. Oh, oh man. That's beautiful. Okay. Well done. You know that little rugged fist thing we do? Let's do one more of those, okay? <laughs> <Sweet>. <laughs> Come 
Good catch. There we go, right by my feet, right in front of me. Oh, it's a good one too. Oh, holy smokes. Right by my feet. And look at the size of him. Yeah, right, like, like uh -huh. I saw him come up and get it. That's a nice grayling. And on that MEPS too, they love that. They love those inline spinners. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. Oh, hold on. There we go. Don't wanna harpoon myself. Nice one, brother. There we go. Okay, you ready? He's gonna go flying. <laughs> you ready? There he is. Look at that beautiful Arctic grilling. That's a nice one too. Okay, come on. See you take off. That big dorsal fin. There he goes. Whoa! Whoa! It is a pike. Not a bad one either. Yeah, if you can tire him out, and I'll do it on this side. It could be you want more comfortable over here? on this side. Okay. Yeah. See what mayhem is we should be good. here. Oh. Okay, all set. I think I'm I can drag him over. Okay, I'll get his head up. Okay. Over we go. Right down deep. Yep. Beautiful. Excellent. And all right. We are good. Cool. Oh, man. that's not bad at all. That's, yeah, that's probably that's, eight that's, pounds. Yeah. Oh, I think it's better than that. Yeah. Well, the viewers can verify it. I think it's about a 15-pound pike. Oh, excellent. Okay. Let's Beautiful. see if we can get this guy back in the water right now. Without any kind of major headache. There we go. Give us a good splash in the face. There he goes. He didn't. It's been an entire five minutes since we caught a fish. I'm never coming back to this place again. <laughs> What's going on? Have to wait five whole minutes before you catch a fish. Whoa. Let's see if I can get him across here. Yeah, he's going good. Yeah. You can tell he knows we're doing TV. He brings him around right in front of the camera. <laughs> Way to go, Trev. Now, what's, what's the biggest lake trout that you've caught on this lake? Have you ever got him over 35, 40 pounds? 37. Is that was, right? Uh, That's a huge lake trout. Biggest one we weighed. That's a big one. This one's probably four or five pounds, right? Yeah. He's just a bit, well, he's kind of like the other one, I guess. There we go. Oh, yeah. That's a bit bigger. We may have a hard time finding something small enough for shore lunch, maybe. Is that a possibility? Oh. Him and one just like him would be perfect would for it? sure. Like, okay. Yeah. Good bake size. Yeah. Okay, let's get a couple more, you think, right? Right on. All right. Excellent. This waterfall is beautiful, Trevor, I'm telling you. Yeah, it's, it's pretty soothing. And the camp is right there, I mean. Talk about a perfect uh, spot to put this camp. Now, was it your, did you say that it was your grandmother that started this camp? Yeah. Years ago. There was an existing cabin here, but she got it, and uh, that was in 80. Right. And we've had it ever since. So you're coming up to close to, what, 30 years now? Yeah. Yeah, you're, all, you're almost at the 30 year mark, and it's been in the same ownership the whole time, same yeah. family? Yeah. My grandma ran it, and then now my mom's running it, and then uh, I'll eventually run it. Another thing that I like about your camp here, you generally only take, what, eight or nine guests at the most at one time? Yeah. Maybe, maybe 10 or something. Yeah, it's, yeah, that's what that's what we're comfortable with. It's easy to manage. Yeah, the lake's big enough for it. There's a fish. Oh, had a bite there. He'll come back. Guy had He'll come back. back there too. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Got him. <laughs> and when we have uh, eight or nine people, they usually have exclusive access to the whole lake. Well, the, you are the nice. only cabin on the whole lake. The only yeah. uh, fishing camp on the whole lake. Yeah. What now? How? What is this lake? 14 miles by what? It's about 14 by 10. Is that the right? Longest stretches. Yeah. Wow. Well, it's a beautiful lake, I'm telling you. I've been all over the place, and this is a real nice lake. Let's see yeah, what I got here. I think this is a small lake trout. This might be a, this might be a candidate for the frying pan, brother. I don't excellent. know. Excellent. Yeah, what is that? That is a spunky little lake trout. That's a sp oh, that, oh, he's going to go in the pan, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he's destined for the pan. This guy's life is over in like one minute. Dude, I'm sorry, but we're going to carve you. <laughs> that is perfect. Just nice right, actually, guy. you know? Just yeah. right. Oh, well, that's a perfect size for the pan, isn't it? It sure is. Okay, we're gonna bonk him and uh, put him on ice. Hey, would you do us a favor and not change the channel during the commercial break? We're trying to sell products here, okay? What'd you think, we're doing this for fun?